The journey into spiritual power is very interesting. We started this broadcast of journey into spiritual power some days ago. We are still talking about it. Remember, I said number one thing in the journey to power is faith. You must believe what God has said. Acting on what God has said is faith. Faith is saying, no matter what I feel, I choose to believe what God has said. I don't go by my feeling. I go by what God said. And after that, you need to understand that focus or concentrating on God, looking unto Jesus, giving attention to God, you know, is what takes you into power. Today, I want to go to another thing of the thing that you must understand to enter safely in the land of spiritual power in this journey. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of the universe, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the God that does not die, cannot die, will not die, have sent me to you with a word to encourage you, to inspire you, to motivate you, and to bless you. This morning, as you listen, the Lord God Almighty will make a way for you. God will do you good. He will raise helpers of destiny who will do you good. Helpers of destiny who will remember you at the nick of time and come to your aid and help you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. A very, very important point in the journey into spiritual power is your motive. Motive is the reason why you want the power. What is the reason why you want to have spiritual power? Do you want spiritual power so that you can show them? So that they can know that you have arrived? You want spiritual power so that you can be popular. Everybody will know you. You want spiritual power so that you can brag and say yes. You want spiritual power for what reason? The motive for which you want spiritual power matters. Many people are denied the blessing of enjoying spiritual power because they have a wrong motive. They want spiritual power so that they can raise money, so that everybody will know they have power, so they begin to merchandise the grace of spiritual power to make money for personal use. If that is your motive because of money, <laughs> God is not a man. God knows your heart. You see, when David, when David was anointed, Prophet Samuel was ready to anoint the firstborn Eliab. And God stopped him. God said, you are looking as a man. Man look on the outward appearance. God looks on the inside. You can deceive everybody. But when your motive is to get money and to get popularity and to oppress people because some people want the spiritual power so that they can oppress. They want spiritual power so that they can kill their enemies. They want spiritual power so that everybody will be afraid of them. That is why they want spiritual power. Those are wrong motives. If that is your motive, I know that God will not give you spiritual power. That may be the reason why you have not attained the power. You have fasted, you have prayed. You pray every day. In the night, you don't sleep. You are asking for power. But God is looking at your motive. And God is saying, if I can give this one, this power, this will kill everybody. If I give this one power, nobody will be able to breathe again. If I give this one power, he will become too proud that even me, I can't undo him. That's why the Bible says God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Your motive why you need the power is checked by God. Man may not know that motive, but God, you cannot hide it from God. What is your motive? The right motive for spiritual power must be love. The right motive for spiritual power must be compassion. The right motive, why you need spiritual power, must be to help somebody. 
Your motive for spiritual power must be your yearning for those who are sick to be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your motive for spiritual power must be to make your world a better place than you met it. Your motive for getting spiritual power must be to help somebody. If that is not your motive, you may pray and fast for 100 days. Your, the power of God will not be released unto you. If you get any power through that kind of a motive, it is the power of the devil. God cannot give you power to destroy other people. If you want spiritual power so that you can deal with your enemies, think again. That kind of a power cannot, will not come from God. That is the truth. If you want spiritual power so that you can show them that you have arrived, that kind of power cannot and will not come from God. That is what the Bible teaches us. Remember the disciples of Jesus? They saw somebody casting out devils. And they said, because he's not following us, we stopped him. Jesus said, don't stop him. You know? And remember another place where the Bible says that Jesus wanted to enter a certain city. And they rejected Jesus. And the disciples said, let's call fire down to consume them like Elijah did. And Jesus said, don't do it. This spiritual power is not to destroy people. This spiritual power is not to bring people down. Spiritual power that God gives is not to demote people and to dehumanize them and to mesmerize them so that you can rule them. If you need spiritual power so that you can rule people, God will not give you. This is the truth. Anybody who has spiritual power ruling other people is not using the power of God. That is demonic. God's power does not by force rule people. No, 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 no. God's power helps people, delivers people. It does not put anybody into bondage. So if you see anybody using spiritual power to control people, to put people under and to terrorize people and to make people anyhow, you know that power is not from God. I can assure you. This is where I'm going to stop. You're able to listen to this, to hear this courtesy partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. God bless all the partners in the mighty name of Jesus. Please rebroadcast this. It's going to be well with you as you do that. If you got this by a rebroadcast or from any other medium and you love this message, you want me to send it to you every day and you are on WhatsApp, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus 2774. 0302381. Save that number right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Send me a message, simple message. Let the message be add me. Once I see that message, add me on your WhatsApp. But make sure you save that number with I prevail. Then every day you will receive this message for as long as I live. Thank you so much for hearing this. Please, once again, rebroadcast this. And God bless. If you want to be a partner, you love this message, you want to support this ministry, just WhatsApp that number and say seed or partner. And um, I will tell you how you can remit your offering. And God will bless you as you sow that seed. Thank you very much. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed. <music>